Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a Elite Code Medium algorithm question. We're going to be doing this uh, submission in Python. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Elite Code number seven, uh, reverse an integer. So the idea here is they're going to give us an integer. Uh, it's going to be uh, no greater than a 32-bit integer, and uh, the expectation is that we reverse the integer uh, and return uh, the rev the reverse of that integer. Uh, similar to if it were a string. So let's take a look at the examples they provide us. Example one, so we have an integer of one, two, three. The expectation is the output is uh, three, two, one. Uh, example two is negative one, two, three. The expectation is negative three, two, one. So the negative sign remains at the beginning um, of the number as numbers should be. And then lastly, we have this example of uh, 120, which is equal to 21 when reversed uh, because a leading zero doesn't mean anything. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I think that we need to do to solve this problem. So I think initially we're probably going to have to take a look at uh, reversing uh, the integer. And we can do that by casting it as a string. We also don't want to take that negative sign as part of the string. So we're going to cast it as absolute value. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that first. Uh, so what we'll do here is um, let's drop in a note, convert, convert input into string. Okay, great. So let's keep a running um, variable of a uh, output string uh, to keep track of the changes that we're making. So let's make our output string is equal to uh, the absolute value of x, which is our input here. Uh, we actually don't want that. We want to we want to take the that absolute value. We're going to cast it as a string, and we're going to reverse the string. Uh, so what this gives us is a uh, the string of the original input in reverse. Uh, without the negative sign, if the negative sign exists. All right. Uh, so the next thing that we probably want to do is want to check for a 32-bit integer. So if it's a 32-bit integer, we want to return a zero, uh, as stated here in the problem. So let's take a look at doing that. So let's add in a little note here. Check if a uh, 32-bit. Uh, so what we can do is we can just say if the integer version of O string is greater than two to the 31st. And I grab this two to the 31st right from right here in the question itself. Uh, so they helped us out a little bit there without having to look up uh, how to get that value. And if it's greater than uh, two to the 31st, then let's, uh, let's keep our O string variable in place and set this to the string of zero. OK, great. So we've accounted for reversing the integer. We've accounted for 32-bit integers. Uh, the last thing we want to do is we want to count for uh, negatives. So let's let's go about this by now checking. Uh, let's do, um, let's add a note here. Next check if ridge was negative. OK, so we can do a elif. Uh, if the original x input uh, was less than 0, then what we can do is we can take our O string and put in a negative sign in front of that O string and then add in the O string. So now we've checked for a negative value. Uh, if it has a negative value, drop in that negative sign in the beginning of it. Great. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to return that O string, but as an integer. So we'll uh, re oop, return that our output string, and then let's cast this as an integer. Great, so I think we've got all the use cases uh, taken care of. Uh, we're reversing the, the original integer. We're checking to see if it's 32-bit. We're also checking it to see if it was originally negative and adjusting accordingly. And we're gonna return the output string. Let's run the code and test to make sure that this solves for it. It does. All right, let's go ahead and submit this. So here we go. Our solution was 94% faster than other submitted solutions. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave some comments if you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, also, if you came up with a different solution using a different technique, uh, drop in the comments. All right, thanks.